Do you have a small business that you want to promote and you want to use your Bronco to help promote your business? I will show you a cheap and easy way to build a logo, send it off to a printer, and adhere it to your Bronco with ease. This process is cheap, easy, and quick. Welcome to another episode of Alpine Garage Bronco Daily. Now the first step you want to do is design your logo. First of all, I set up a Canva account and you can do that for free in Canva. Canva is a website that has all kinds of templates on there to use for Facebook, Marketplace, logos, t-shirts, everything. So that's where I design my logo. Once you've set up your free account in Canva, you'll go into the templates. Under templates, there's business, and under business, there's logos. You'll click on that, and you can actually do a blank design, or you can use any of these designs that they have provided. Once you've designed your logo the way you want, then you'll want to upload it 2400 by 2400 pixels. But check with your printer and make sure that you have the pixel count that they need. I actually found a local printing company in town that does auto vinyl decals. Make sure it is an auto decal. It's going to be made for the outside of the car, for it's going to be waterproof. Once you take your design to them, make sure that they look over it, make sure that the size and the clarity is good for what you're wanting. You'll want to proof that and once you proof it then you can have them print it out for you in any size. You can also do a wrap however wraps are more expensive. The two decals I had done were under $50. So it's an easy way to promote your business of any kind on your vehicle as you're out and about. So once you've had it designed and printed and you pick it up I will show you now how to put it on. It is very easy to put it on yourself. First, you want to make sure that the area is completely clean. I used Windex. You can use soap and water. Then you want to reapply either the Windex or the soap and water to make sure it's completely damp underneath the sticker. That way the sticker is floating on top of that. It makes it so much easier to position it. You can move it around and of course I wasn't able to get it the first time so I had to keep moving it and eyeballing it to make sure that it was correctly centered on my uh, window there. So then I just wanted to go back through and you just squeegee all the water out. And you can go clockwise, counterclockwise, but just start in the middle and work your way out to the ends. That way you get all the water and the bubbles out completely. And that way it'll help when it all dries underneath that the sticker will stay on. It took me a couple times to go around the sticker just to make sure that it was completely, all the bubbles were out. You know, it'll, it'll take you some time. But then I took my hand and just make sure, just kind of rub over it a little bit. You can kind of see it from the inside of the car too to make sure all the bubbles are out. And then I just wiped it all down and it was perfect. I loved it. And that's a wrap from Alpine Garage. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share these videos. And check our end screen for some of our classic videos. Mm -hmm.